Hi, I'm Belinda Miller from Ruby Major Elementary in Hermitage, Tennessee. I'm here today to tell you thank you to the We Are Teachers organization for supporting the Lumens grant of the DC 235. I happen to be lucky enough to be one of the winners and for that grant I received the new DC 235 which is amazing and I also received a hundred dollars and of course the iPod to record this video. How lucky am I? My teachers are all so jealous. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my grant and what we plan to do with this grant. We have big plans for it for the future. I uh, know that it's going to make an impact on our students at our school and hopefully maybe even drift on into some other avenues. Um, the, the main goal of the grant that we wrote was to make sure that teachers and students had access to teachers lessons after the fact. We might teach these wonderful lessons and sometimes they don't get remembered or a student's absent. So this will allow students to go back and look at those lessons online at home or in a computer lab or in a classroom. So what we will do is we will record lessons. For example, I'm going to do one today about least common multiple. A very common misconception in students, they get them mixed up with greatest common factors. So I'm going to provide a visual for teachers and students to be able to use to hopefully get this concept ingrained in students forever. The uh, money that I received, the $100, uh, I was able to use to purchase some headphones. I purchased eight pair of headphones for the technology lab at school or for teachers to borrow. And these will allow students to come in and watch the videos and be able to review the concepts even if they uh, if we, even if I have a lab full of other students, this will allow them to not distract others and still be able to review. So I did buy some headphones in addition to just some basic teaching supplies like pencils and paper, um, things that we would need to actually teach the lessons. Um, the uh, DC 235, let me give you a little bit about it. Um, it's an amazing document camera that um, the Lumens Corporation has come up with. It's a more median priced than their than the top one that they sell, but it is definitely filled with lots of bells and whistles. It has two lights on it. This allows me to be able to use the camera on low light situations. Uh, using it at my desk to teach a lesson, I can also use it at different stations in the room. It also has a built-in microphone, which makes it great for making videos while I'm teaching. All I have to do is save the file, and then I can go back and open that file later, and we can review it. And then I can post it onto our school's website, which is what we'll be doing with, with what we're doing on this project. The other thing is it, um, the DC-235 has lots of annotations. I can go ahead and write directly on the screen when I'm using the camera. It hooks right into my smart board and my projector so that I have full access of all my materials together. All right, I want to go ahead and start a lesson just to show you exactly what we would do. Um, just do a brief lesson about least common multiple. Before I begin the lesson, I would turn my document camera on. I would go to my, my laptop on my desktop and click the ladybug. When I do that, I will open the document camera so that it is showing on the screen. And as this happens, it's also showing on the overhead and the whiteboard in my classroom. Now I'm ready to start recording. The way I would record is I would hit the new page button and that would also put up a new part of the menu. The new part of the menu that it puts up, I'm going to move this out of my way, gives me the option to record and then when I do that it pops up record right on the screen. In order to start recording I simply push the red button. When I do that, it gives me the option of saving what I'm going to record. 
So I'm going to call this lesson least common multiple. like everything I just clicked off of it so I've got to redo it. I have to start again because I didn't hit it quick enough. Now let's go. I want to record, start a new file, least common multiple, And then I will push save. Now that I've done that, I can start recording. So here would be a brief lesson of least common multiple. Just had a little email pop in there on it. All right, here was how we do least common multiple. I'm going to have the students begin by drawing an M on their paper. This is making a visual picture of multiple, so that, that's why we're doing the M. I'm going to take my two numbers. I want to find the least common multiples of 12 and um, let's say 6. Let's just say 12 and 6. All right, we'll start out by putting the number 12 here and putting the number 6 here. 12 is 12 times 1. 6 is 6 times 1. Okay, so let's just let's start with one side now. Let's go with 12 times 2. How much is 12 times 2? It's 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 4 is 48. 12 times 5 is 60. I'm going to stop with 5, and if I don't find an, an answer, then we can always come back and add. Let's go with 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. And 6 times 5 is 30. Now, what we are looking for is the least, that's the smallest number, that's on both columns. So let's start looking. I'm gonna to go to my smaller number first. I have a six. There's not a six on this row. Then I have a 12. Now if I look on the other row, there is a 12. So I have just found my least common multiple. The smallest number that's in between six and 12 is 12. So my LCM equals 12. Now of course students would practice this several times and then eventually would move away from using the M. But this gives them a picture of how to do it. So that's just a brief lesson of that I might do and record so that teachers could have to use later. Or students could use or even parents could use to either review, or even possibly learn about least common multiple. Some of the lessons that we have planned in math for the, for the, di for the near future are place value, greatest common factor, times table tricks, divisibility rules, how to multiply two digit numbers, how to reduce fractions, how to multiply fractions, how to divide fractions, how about how do you change a mixed number to an improper fraction or an improper fraction to a mixed number? And then make some basic algebra techniques. Those are just the math concepts. Of course, we also have all kinds of language lessons and reading lessons we can do like sight words and making sounds. So we have some very big plans for this in our near future can't wait for school to start and begin to use this as a recording device in the classroom for lessons, not only for teachers to use, but also maybe even students to use as, as lessons. So thanks again to the Lumens Corporation and to We Are Teachers for helping me to access this amazing grant and helping me to have these tools in my classroom for students, all 650 students, to learn with. Thank you so much.